Okay, today I'm assembling the Bowthy Big and Tall office chair. Back seat cushion. Got one arm, lots of padding, that's good. Got another arm, this one's blue, so I'm guessing they're color coded to make life easier. Here's the bottom seat cushion, that's real big. Got hardware, base, it's definitely all metal. And the lever. All right, so I'm with the bottom seat cushion, it's got the instructions, looks pretty simple. Need the hardware, oh, that's nice. I actually included a full T-handle wheels and the piston so the first step is to attach the wheels yeah that is a nice heavy duty base they're plastic casters but they do feel pretty solid okay step two is drop in the piston now we're done with the base for now put front on two sides. Well, this is definitely not the front, this is a side. But it is nice that they put that there. Okay, so now, set this on here. And this is also labeled front, so that's good. Now, there is something that's a little weird. So they called these bolts J and I, but these are labeled one and two. So that's annoying. But I did notice that the number one, the I, are for the, the sides, and we need eight of those. So there's one, two, three, four, it's eight of these. And then we got six of the number two. So number two is the J. And they do have Loctite already on them, so that's good. I'm gonna need the, uh, the Allen to get that Loctite threaded through. So now we're going to drop this on the base. So now I'm going to loosely attach the armrests. So this pattern right here, this is going to go to the inside. So this definitely goes on the left. And for that, I'm going to use the other bolts, which are labeled one or I. These are the 35 millimeter. Now I don't want to make these tight. I just want to get them on because I want to make sure that I've got enough room that I can get that backrest on. Got these started. And just about three or four threads on each. So I get the other arm. And then I'm going to use the same bolts there. Looks like they put a grease on there too, which is good, so it's not gonna it's not gonna corrode. So now we just gotta put the back on, uh, tighten everything up, and then put these caps in. Okay, yeah, definitely glad that I left that loose. Right now, the only thing that's holding it on are those little uh, studs that they have stuck out of the side. I just have the, the arms pressed in and holding it in place. So I got all the bolts started. Now I'm just gonna tighten everything down. Make sure everything is lined up properly. Seated correctly. There we go. That is a lot of turns to get it tight. That's a good thing because the uh, shallow ones don't last as long. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw the caps on here. Down with this side. Go ahead 
ahead and finish tightening this down. Again, I'm just making sure that everything is properly seated. There's pins that stick out and those have to fit inside this hole. So you don't want to uh, try to push that in when it's not quite lined up. I think if I had to do this in the future, I'd probably just use an impact. Okay. I'm always used to these little caps popping out on their own, but this these feel pretty solid. I don't think those are going anywhere. The last thing is this little adjustment knob. You can see it's got two holes, and those attach on the bottom. Right here. And for that we're using the shorter 25 millimeter bolts. That's uh I mean that's like an inch long, so it's funny to think of the the shorter bolts being an inch long. That's uh that's a good thing. That means I care. So that's it and they gave us one extra of every bolt and plug so that's a sign of a good company and that is a nice big chair yeah that thing's a monster nice and squishy and that knob is the lumbar support so it does have lumbar support and yeah I just like I like the width I love the depth for my legs that's an awesome chair